Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gift Egwenu and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and resources on how you can prepare for technical interviews this year. I know when the word technical interview comes up, especially around developers, it either brings up the feeling of fear, anxiety, nervousness, or basically people are just scared of technical interviews. And to be honest, I totally feel why that would be the case because it's a very rigorous process. Well, depending on the company that you're applying to, right? If you're applying to a FANG, you know that you need to have like a lot of preparation done in order to take those interviews. In this video, I would like to share some tips, resources, general advice that personally I've applied to my own interview process that has helped me so that you take something out of it and probably use it to help you in your own interview process. If you're going through a technical interview, you need to have in mind that there are different stages in order for you to land a job and it's very important to know what those stages are. This can differ from company to company, especially by size. So if you're interviewing at FANG, for example, you would expect to have more interview stages than if you're interviewing in a startup. The stages that I'm quite familiar with that you would typically see in a lot of technical interviews is first, you have the phone screen. The phone screen is where you have your first conversation with the recruiter about yourself, your previous experience, and just trying to get you familiar with what they're looking for and seeing if you're a good fit for the role. After this, you have the next stage, which is either going to be a coding challenge or a take home coding project, right? This can also differ from company to company. I've been in interviews where I was handed like a code challenge to solve and bring back. There is also some that I've been in that I had to solve it in a Zoom call. So it really depends, but I know that between a coding challenge and a coding project, you would get one of these things after the phone screen stage. A coding challenge could be that you solve a very small technical problem using probably JavaScript. While a coding project is you that you have to build out a fully fledged project from scratch. After that, you have like the on-site interview. Now the on-site interview could vary from companies to companies. I know that pre-pandemic companies will fly you out to the actual company location to have this series of interviews. But right now, most of it is being done remotely. For this, you would have like a series of calls with engineers on the team, engineering manager, you know, product managers. It can differ depending on the role that you're applying for, right? But this series of interviews is where you expect to get algorithm or data structure related questions, behavioral questions, and generally getting to know the team. And then the final stage after this would be to talk about compensation, salary, and all of that. So that's the last stage of the process, right? Now that you're familiar with the different stages involved in a technical interview process, how well do you prepare yourself for success? I have some tips to share with you and take this with a grain of salt because personally these tips have worked for me and I feel like sharing it would also help other people. Now, the first thing on my list here is to study and practice. There is, as the saying goes, practice makes perfect, right? So if you're interviewing, specifically if you're having technical interviews, you need to always be practicing. And this could vary for, for, for different people, right? So if, for example, using my own previous experience, if you're interviewing for a front-end engineering role, you want to be practicing, for example, coding challenges, related to like these areas, right? Is also, there's also the question of, hey, gift, should I focus on studying data structures and algorithm only, or should I focus on just JavaScript related questions? Like what should I be expecting? In my own personal opinion, I would say try to learn like both because you can't really tell what the companies you're applying to would ask you for, right? So as much as possible, data structure and algorithm, if you start with learning the basics, like what is a stack, what is skew, what is linked list, like learn those things so that 
Whenever you're faced with a question, you can easily apply those techniques to the problems that you're asked to solve, right? So I would say start from there. And regarding like problems that are not data structure and algorithm related, it's also important for you to study this. For example, you might be asked to build a project, like a very simple project using like Vue.js or React, if that's the technology that is going to be used in the job. So you should definitely be prepared for either of these scenarios, right? So as much as possible, try to kind of study these two areas. So if this is specifically for front-end developers, because it's a question that comes up a lot and a question that people ask me a lot. So in order to set yourself up for success, I would say you should try to study both areas properly. The next tip I would like to share is to use helpful resources that are out there to help you on your journey to studying, right? I already mentioned that you should be studying, but what resources are out there to help you study? I think the first one I would like to recommend to you is this book called Cracking the Coding Interview. I know it's super popular. A lot of people have read it or have it or have it in their list of books to read. But this book is very helpful, especially if you're preparing for technical interviews. I really liked the first section of the book that goes into the how and the process of interviewing before actually going into the different problem solving challenges you get from interviews. The only downside to this book is that it's the solutions that you get are in Java. So if you're probably not familiar with that, it will be not very helpful and that's why i also want to recommend another book that i've read and it's called decoding the front-end interview process by emma this book is specifically targeted at front-end developers and if you're looking to find some data structure and algorithm pro problems in javascript i think you find some in this book it was super helpful as well Apart from books, because I know different people have different ways of learning that works for them. There are also like courses that you can take. Specifically, there is one that I would like to recommend to you, to you all. It's the Educative Interview Prep Kit. And it's this series of different courses that would help you scale your knowledge in technical interviews, right? You have different types of courses focused in different technologies and different areas. I know that there is one for data structure and algorithm. There's one for front-end related problems. So it's really everything you need packaged in one place so that you can, you know, use it to help with your studies. Regarding practicing for data structure and algorithm questions, the platform that I'm quite familiar with is called HackerRank, but this is just one of them. There is also Code Wars and Lead Code. So what really helps is if you try to work this in into like a daily or as according to what works for you, a weekly practice. So try to solve one basic problem first before moving on to like intermediate problems or even advanced problems, but try to do it regularly so that in that way you're already building your skills to be able to solve the problems you would get when you're interviewing. Another good tip I would like to share is to also have something called mock interviews. So mock interviews is basically you practicing for the actual interview you would have with like a peer, a friend, or somebody that is well knowledgeable in the area. But how do you get people to, to help you with mock interviews? I just found a platform today that helps you with this and it's, basically for free, in no way affiliated with them, but I thought it would be very nice to share this. It's called Pramp.com. It helps people with mock interviews and you don't have to pay for it, right? I've not used it personally, but I found it and I thought this is going to be a helpful resource for people, so why not share it? Here you can find people, mentors that will be help, helping you with your mock interview process. So if this is something you're interested in, definitely check it out. Whenever you are having a coding session during your interviews, what is also very helpful that you keep in mind is to talk through the problems, right? So if you're asked, like you're doing a live coding session with an interviewer, you shouldn't keep quiet and solve the problem. You should always like talk through your problem. Even if you don't know what the next step you're going to be taking is, you can just 
basically share your thoughts, right? Don't keep everything in because I think that's one thing they look out for if you're able to communicate properly and if you're also able to talk through your solution or your your train of thoughts. What are you thinking about the problem? How would you go about solving it? Don't just go on to start coding. First of all, talk through how you would solve the problem and even while solving the problem, talk through your the different things that comes to your head on the approach to solving the problem. If you find that you're very nervous or you are not feeling very comfortable to speak out, I think this is something that happens a lot because you might be feeling intimidated or you might be feeling that you don't want to mess up because somebody else is watching you write code. I think what is helpful is try to imagine you're talking to yourself, right? Because I know like typically every day everybody speaks to their in self so try to instead of speaking instead of saying things in your mind try to just voice it out like i know it's hard but it's something that you can do so yeah try that and see how it works if it's to make you feel more comfortable with sharing what you're thinking i think i already mentioned this before but it's also super important practice always makes perfect right so always remember to practice interview questions be practice always be practicing because that's what would help you when you're doing the actual interviews ask clarifying questions like literally come with questions every time you have an interview even if it's the phone screen come with questions even if you're in the last stage of your interview come with questions is always important because it gives the recruiter or the interviewer a sense that you are actually keen about the job and you're interested in learning more about the company and the processes at the company right so always come with questions because sometimes i find that doing interviews like they always leave like the last five minutes for you to ask questions and if they ask you do you have any questions for us and you're dumbfounded you don't know anything you don't have any questions to ask i think that would make them feel that you're not taking the role seriously so it's always important i know that during interview stages there's always going to be questions coming up so for me personally what i do is i use notion to track all of my interview process i've shared this before but this is what it looks like and for every interview that I'm going through, I always come prepared. I always have questions for uh, that I want to ask each person I'm interviewing with before the call. This way, I'm not like caught up with you know that situation where I don't have anything to say. So it's quite important to have that in mind. Finally, I would like to say that I know interviewing is not the most convenient thing to do. It's very hard, like it takes a lot of time and effort, especially if you're still like working a full-time job and you still have to find time to practice on the side. Notwithstanding the long rigorous process that's involved in interviews, I know that there are some process that will take you six months, you know, from beginning to end and you still end up getting a rejection. So that's pretty de devastating if you ask me. And I know that currently the interview process is broken and a few companies are actually taking the time to make sure that their interview process is better and well suited for the applicants but not all companies have this in place so you might definitely kiss a few frogs when you're interviewing but personally i've had good experience since i started interviewing not all of them always go well i've gotten a lot of rejections but my interview process has always gone pretty well and i think it's also like on my part being intentional by the kind of companies that i want to work with so I hope these tips that I shared was helpful to you. For everyone watching, in case you have your own personal tips and you feel like there is something that I did not mention that has been helpful to you, can you please do me a favor and leave it in the comment section because I know that somebody out there is going to find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to see you all in my next one. Bye.